for me to just like take a break from everything else and just like have time for myself to do something I like. Have you ever felt a lover with just your hands? Close your eyes and trust it, just trust it. Have you ever looked fear in the face and said, I just don't care? I started singing with my church choir and I don't even remember how long it was, but I just remember it being super like fun and like they were really encouraging and like wanted me to get better. Have you ever felt a lover? With just your hands Close your eyes and trust it Just trust it Just because I feel good doing it and it makes me happy and I know I don't really want to pursue my career in singing but I enjoy it as a pastime and like it's a hobby that I enjoy doing it. It's a way to connect with some friends that I also like singing and that play guitar and stuff. And uh, it's a good way for us to hang out and have fun and get a good laugh out of it. It's only half past the point of no return. The tip of the iceberg, the song before the bird. Oh, every day for sure. If it's like waiting for the bus with I'm alone at the bus stop or like in the shower or like just in my room when I come back from work, I think I sing every day without even knowing, like understanding that like I'm doing it. It's just natural. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me. cook in the kitchen and I sing as I cook or like I shower and I sing it's not like it's like a hobby or like something I wouldn't I wouldn't characterize my characterize me like a amateur singer I'd characterize me as like a random singer <laughs> that sings in random times and like just whatever it means a lot of different things to us. It's not one thing. A lot of it's cultural. A lot of it has to do with memories that we have of growing up. Times that we felt fun or empowered or enjoyment. Uh, good times, bad times. allows me to explore a lot of different emotions simultaneously. I wanted to play guitar ever since I was a kid. One of the things I learned when I was six years old was that the strings on a guitar, especially an acoustic guitar like this with steel strings, were very sharp. And I remember coming home that night with band-aids all over my fingers because I cut myself trying to play the guitar on these steel strings. I tried and I tried and I tried to the point where my fingers were blading. I tried the piano, but the piano just never really appealed to me. The guitar always appealed to me because, I don't know, I like the sound of it. recording together.
And she got really into playing and into recording this music. She thought it was pretty cool. And I have to admit that for a six-year-old, she had a great voice and she did a great job on the song. So one of my favorite recordings of all time, bar none. And over the years, I suppose that I've spent a, probably more days playing than not playing. Nowadays, I probably don't play as much as I want to. I think of the uh, great composers of uh, the Renaissance, you know, Mozart and Beethoven, and people don't stop playing their music because Beethoven and Mozart are dead. Because it's, it's all about the music, it's not about the instrument, it's not about the musician. That's the power of music, you know, you can share it with anybody, you can do it anytime, anywhere, any place.